August 14th, today, the day Leah Nixon Fitzgerald and her sister Grace chose to unveil a new line of greeting cards. But as Steve Long tells us, this is not a story about cards. Steve? So what is it about and why today? The answer is found in the fine line between life and death with messages that transcend time. August 14th, one year, two extremes, two sisters where there could have been just one. Keep dancing. <laughs> August 14th, um, last year was the most devastating day of my life. Um, getting the call from my mom that Leah had been in this severe accident and we didn't know if she would live or die. A stationary company owned by two sisters with a relationship tighter than glue. Tiny and Snail, which is me and my sister, we came out with a new card line. It's called the Keep Dancing Collection. Um, it's 11 cards to send to people you love when things are rough. Paralyzed from the armpits down in a construction accident exactly one year ago. It taught me that we're all mortal. We could die literally any day. Leah could have died so many times if we got a second chance. And to be able to have a sister to accompany me through life and then I get to accompany her. I ended up spending a month in the ICU, three months in rehab at Craig Hospital, and three months at QLI in Omaha. Choosing this day to launch their new card line. Take a day that could be full of sorrow and say no, like we claim this day as a celebration where that was not the end of the story, that was the beginning of a new story. Leah's home is being renovated to be more wheelchair accessible. It's in transition as is Leah's life. This summer, Leah married her fiance, Kelsey James Fitzgerald. She drives a hand-controlled van, rolling forward with life. Shine like the whole universe is yours, Rumi. Leah was considering a lot of career options. An accident, perhaps pointing to destiny, laughter where there was once tears. You know, the telehandler fell on me and it sort of limited a lot of those options, <laughs> which was kind of helpful in a way, um, because it's like the universe telling me like, no, Leah, you have two hands that are meant to make art. You have a brain that's meant to make art, so just do it. While paralyzed from the armpits down, she has constant nerve pain that moves around her body at will. It's my main battle now. It doesn't. It's not that it takes longer to get around to get in my van or out. It's that every single day I have this chronic pain with me. From her pain comes beauty and opportunity as an artist. I want people to keep dancing. Life is so brutal and it's so beautiful. And those things coexist side by side. This is a way that you can send a part of yourself in the mail to someone you love and show that you're there with them and that in a way like even if you died you would still be there like part of you would still be with them and sit so and every day is a new first yesterday she rode a horse for the first time since the accident and if you're interested in those cards they're available on the tiny and snail website jack